So the May 2025 security patch update for Google Pixel devices was pushed earlier this week. And whenever I get a security patch update, regardless if it's on a stable build or a beta build, first I want to jump into the operating system, dig through it, see if there's any new features, anything added that's cool that, that we can play with. But one of the things high on my list is battery life. And I've seen quite a bit of users complain about battery life. Now, jumping back to the update takes me a good, I would say maybe five, six, seven days to really get a get a real good idea if this build has been good to my battery or not, because my usage does kind of vary right th throughout the day. I am a heavy multitask, multi uh, uh, device user. So I really got to hammer out some work on said device to see if the battery uh, is playing nicely with the new update. So as I mentioned, seeing a lot of comments, seeing a lot of re uh, uh, Reddit threads in regards to this battery life thing, we got a rare statement, a rare issue from Google. And they basically helped decide. I think what happened is some people at Google basically have had the same problem as as we did the users the in, in the public and they dug around and found the problem for us so if you're an instagram user if you have any other other uh, meta apps facebook messenger possibly whatsapp um, you might want to uninstall them and or use the web version however google did put a statement out today saying update your application. So apparently behind the scenes, Google got with the Instagram team, the Instagram developers, and I guess worked this out behind the scenes, behind our, our backs. Um, and they are saying there is a new version, a new update, an Instagram, Instagram app build 382.0.0.49.84. That's the new build you're going to want to get. Now, if you go to the Play Store and see if there's an update, you can always, and if there's not, you can always go to your Instagram application, long press on the icon, go to app info, scroll all the way down, check your build number. If it is not build number 382.0.0.49.84, you can either wait for the update to hit your device, or you can uninstall the Instagram application and just use the web version. So you can go go to Google and type in Instagram.com, open up Instagram. Now what you're gonna do, wanna do is go into your browser settings. Typically, if you're like on Chrome, you hit the three dot menu and you select install to home screen. So what that'll do is it, uh, Instagram is a progressive web app, so it will act like a regular installed application without being installed on your device. The layout's fairly similar. Some things are slightly different, may look a little different, but I think all the features and everything Instagram offers is there on the progressive web app installed on your home screen, just like a regular app, um, compared to a Google Play Store application that's installed. So you can use the web version and then uh, maybe every morning, every night, uh, check the Play Store and you you can see if it is the proper build number that has this battery drain bug resolved. Now, I haven't heard so much about overheating. I never really had a problem with overheating on my Pixel 9 series. There's been a lot of users with the Pixel 6 series and Pixel 7 series that have complained of both the battery drain bug and overheating on their device. Of course, those were Pixels that uh, did not have or do not have a a uh, vapor chamber installed in there. So it could possibly heat up a little quicker or a little longer compared to a newer Pixel 9 series. And again, if you have other meta apps installed on your device, if you're still having, if you still notice uh, your battery draining faster than it should or possibly overheating even after you uninstall the Instagram app uh, from your phone, you might want to double check and or do that to WhatsApp, to Messenger, uh, any of the Facebook, any of the meta apps. You might want to do the same thing where maybe do one at a time uh, where you uninstall the app, but you go to the dot com and you install it on your home screen uh, until a new refreshed version is available on the Google Play Store. Remember, you can always if it's not on the Play Store, you can actually install the application if you go to APK Mirror. 
Uh, I'll, maybe I'll put a link in the description of the Instagram APK Mirror Thread and a couple of the, of the other meta apps. Uh, you can download the APK and install it on your phone uh, because as soon as that build is released, you don't have to sit around and wait for it. You can just go to APK Mirror, look at the application you want, and download it, install it, and away you go. So there's a, another option you can do as well. But I uh, just wanted to get that out there. I went ahead and did that now uh, on my Pixel. And I also I actually did that on my other devices. I actually uninstalled the Instagram app and installed, uh, or should I shall I say, went to the .com and installed it on my homepage. But uh, I need to check my other devices for this new build on the Play Store. And if it is available, go ahead and download it and check it out. I don't know. I haven't really noticed if it's causing any drains on any of my other devices. And that's that's the thing. Uh, and I appreciate Google coming out and giving us a statement like this. They rarely do that. Every now and then they will. And today was one of them. But it uh, surely helps us, you know, in, in the public that are wondering what the hell's going on with our phones, right? <laughs> it's overheating. It's it's draining fast. I don't know what to do. So yeah, I'll, I'll put links down in the in the description box below.